morning everybody i hope you're all doing really well it is monday this feels like a great day to get back into the full swing of vlogging i don't know which video you'll see first whether it's this one or another video that i'm filming at the moment um but it's actually been a little while since i have vlogged some of you may not have noticed some of you may have been in my dm screaming at me i think lots of people thought that i quit <laughs> doing a lot of nails and not a lot of vlogging but it just kind of didn't work out with my schedule and all of the bank holiday weekends and i was just like you know what i'm just gonna take this time to really get my practice in in terms of nails and getting all of the appointments fitted in and then i when i am like less busy and there's less bank holidays can just come back to this with a bang and what a start back to vlogging i have today let me tell you i am so excited this is one of those vlogs that i think i will be vlogging more for me um than for you guys even though it is i hope you enjoy this but this is one of those vlogs that i will be showing my grandchildren because well i hope there's enough content i hope it's not such a chaotic day that i don't really get too much content but i'm getting ready as you can tell i've just put primer on which is a big deal the givenchy primer it is good one of my favorites at the moment but i put that on because i need my makeup to really last and look really good because i'm going to the little mermaid premiere I feel slightly emotional about this only because when I was younger, my granddad will still to this day always recount how many times he has seen The Little Mermaid because it was just one of my absolute favorite films. I would just watch it, like we'd finish it and I would put it back on. And that was just, I was, my brother didn't come along until I was like four and a half. So I I was very much an only child for a long time and that was just I was allowed to just do things like that and put the same thing on over and over again on rotation it was wonderful and I know the words to under the sea all too well I'm sure so many of us do so I feel weirdly emotional today I think my inner child is just crying because this is just so cool I'm going with Kiko which is such a cool brand and I'm so looking forward to today I'm also really excited because um just so many of my friends are going so even when premieres get a bit nerve-wracking like I don't know why I just get nervous even though I've done a few I kind of know the drill they're never as like wild as you think they're gonna be I, ju I just find I get so nervous and the nerves are never worth like it's just everything is always fine it's just fun and it's just nice you know um like it's never worth the nerves but it's nice when you do have friends around when you are in a situation where you're feeling a little bit nervous and a little bit unsteady so it's just gonna be a super fun day i've got my friend eva who's coming to get ready with me as well and i'm so excited to see her because i haven't seen her since october it's been a while yeah i'm just really looking forward to it and just i haven't i haven't got glam in a little while so i'm really looking forward to this evening it's just gonna be so fun and such a fun theme to be getting glam for my dress is giving ariel when she comes out of the sea at the end of the original little mermaid and i love that i do in hindsight wish i had gone for a different variant of the dress that i'm wearing but just in case anyone else is thinking the same i was thinking about uh the rewear of this dress so yeah my choice was very much what will i get the most wear out of uh over time so Bear that in mind hey anyway, we're gonna do some brows and that is going to be it i'm not even gonna powder because i want to be able to just work over this when i get to london i've also just been loving not powdering as much recently especially with using a matte foundation it's just it's so nice it just means i don't have to put an extra product on my skin i am dressed do i look like i'm going to the office yes am i mad about it no because in all honesty i i'm stressing a little bit i'm very nervous and therefore my stomach is just bloating um my flies are my flies not yeah my flies are undone please hold that thought i'm getting a small amount of stress bloat which i'm sure will go down once i like actually get on the train but because of that i just wanted something that would just glide over and not accentuate it i did put on a pair of leather trousers and they will just pick up the most minimal of bloating so we've abandoned that idea i've gone for this 
Uh, I think this is a Reese jacket. I haven't worn this yet. I've had it for a little while just sitting uh, and I haven't been sure on how I wanted to wear it. And I really didn't think this was ever gonna be the way that I wore this because this is very like, like I said, going to the office. But it's cute, I like it. Underneath, I actually have a little waistcoat on, which is kind of an outfit on its own. Um, I wouldn't really just, I will probably take the jacket fully off rather than just leave it undone. I feel like this is a bit weird. But um, yeah, the jacket is basically, the jacket and trousers are an outfit on their own and then the waistcoat and trousers are an outfit on their own. But spring is that time of year when you kind of need this, so yeah it was actually like borderline i was like do i wear some shorts with this and make it more summery but it's just too much of a risk uh i've got some old trousers on with my jacket and waistcoat uh which are from new look and then my veja trainers and then this bag from ysl and then my ysl sunnies uh, my earrings are one of my mango has earrings which are really like battered and rustic but I kind of love the contrast to the very smart outfit oh look at them <laughs> hello just caught you in the side of the vlog <laughs> look at you two you having a little play Anyway, I have to go to London now. Bye. Please remember to take all your belongings with you when you leave the train. You guys, I have just checked in to my room at the Mandrake Hotel. My bag is still on my shoulder. That's how quickly I've whipped out the camera. This room is so lovely. So we come in, we have the food station, which pleases me greatly. And then, <gasps> The most stunning bathroom, Umbriel. And then it gets better. Look at the size of this mirror. This is the first time in a very long time I've been very, very pleased with the size of a hotel room mirror. And I know that's really boring. And then we have the bed, little desk situation here, which I will probably not be using. And then, oh my God, look at this. How? magical is this i kind of want to go out here like is it shared what's the what's the situation wow this is so cool unreal such a fun little hotel i'm so excited to be here i'm so excited for this evening i need to unpack get my dress out This feels really alien being in such a sparkly dress when it's not Christmas. The dress is from 16 Arlington. The shoes, you can't see them very well. There we go. The shoes are from Zara. The bag is from West 22. My earrings are from Etsy and then my rings are Astrid and Mew and Mango. So we've got a little starfish and then some little wavy rings. And uh, yeah, we're going for a little mixed metal situation and i'm just keeping the neckline really really simple as well we need to head up to the kiko suite now we're gonna have a little drink and some food before we go to the premiere i'm so excited i love my makeup as well and i've got this really gorgeous uh lilac cream eyeshadow which is just stunning that's my outfit for this evening's premiere let's go Hi, good morning. I did not check in with you last night. I had every intention of getting back to, excuse me. Did you hear that? That was my stomach, oh my God. Um, I had every intention of getting back to my room and vlogging and I actually was just so tired uh, after I ate that I just fully zonked out. Last night was so magical. I just, I just loved it. It was, Unreal, it was so nice to meet the Kiko team, but it was so fun. And Hallie is just 
she's the perfect little mermaid. Her vocals were unreal. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Uh, I was also sat next to Yinka, who used to host on Capital Extra, and <laughs> I, I actually have never really found girl, but I was like, you know, when you do a double get take, and you're like, oh my god. Um, yeah, she is my favourite radio host. Miss her. It was just a great evening. Thoroughly enjoyed myself. I also had a little pasta and chips when I got back to the room. Hey, I need to go home. I'm going to pop up to the Kiko suite and then we're going to go home. I am very tired. I was looking at the photos from last night and like sorting content until I think it might have been like 1... 30. Like I was looking at some of the messages I sent last night and I was like, what were you even saying? That is how knackered I was. So yeah, I need to go home, get an early night. Uh, and yeah, so we're just going to do very minimal makeup today. I'm just putting concealer on and hoping for the best. No, I'm actually going to do like brows and stuff, but like we're going for light makeup today. Concealer, bronzer, brows kind of vibe. This is the eyeshadow they used on me last night, by the way, in the shade 04. It is so pretty. It's giving like by Terry Ombre Black Star in the best way. We love it. And then another favorite that they used on me last night is this eyeliner. It's so good. Like you can do the liner thicker, but you can also just use the end of it to do a tiny little fine line. It's so good. It lasted all evening. <laughs> Hello, it's been a while. <laughs> it's now Friday. Uh, I did not mean to leave you hanging for so long there. I did not also mean to be so bad at vlogging. Thank God for Rosie, my manager, who uh, hopefully got some behind the scenes clips because I just, it was so busy and it was quite difficult to keep up with the vlogging, but hopefully you enjoyed coming along with me and seeing like the behind the scenes regardless. I love my dress. I love my nails as well. Love them so much. I can't remember if I actually showed you them on Monday. I hope I did. If not, here they are. They're like proper mermaid core style. And on that note, I've just had a nail polish delivery and nothing makes my day quite like new nail polishes. So normally I am very much a minimal neutral nail kind of girl. I'll do a micro French or some kind of like very funky but subtle French. I keep things really simple. That's what I'm very passionate about nail wise. However, this has definitely inspired me to just do some kind of fun like mermaid core, which is one of the themes of the summer, uh, style nails. You guys really love them on Instagram as well. And yeah, I just saw a few polishes that I was like, I feel like you guys and the girls whose nails I already do, they're really going to love them. Like there was one polish in here that I'm like, this has got Lauren's name all over it and I'm actually doing her nails next week. It's really fun. I actually never expected, uh, this might be really boring, apologies if it is, but um, yeah, Lauren is my best friend for those of you that don't know. We have the same nail tech um, and I never really expected to be doing her nails because she's super, super loyal to Ella. I never ever thought that I would have the honor of doing Lauren's nails, um, but we actually have kind of started tag teaming her so if Ella is not available I will do them and it just nothing makes me happier. Her attention to detail is also like impeccable so the fact that she trusts me enough to do her nails is basically an honour. But yeah anyway so I'm doing her nails next week and there's just this one polish that I'm like oh actually no two. There's two polishes that just have her name all over it. All over them. Oh. It just makes me so happy. How stunning is that? Let's move my plant food out the way, which I have clearly not given to the plants because they're dying. And then we have this one. So this one's called Valentina. This one is called Vanity. And it's like a beautiful, subtle, shimmery pink, kind of like the more low-key version of what I've got right now. It is honestly so beautiful. And then I also have Snow Queen, which is basically what is on my nails, uh, but mixed with Luna right now. Uh, I pinched a polish off of Ella, so I've purchased my own. Oh my god, this one! This one is called Mojito, 
Look at that. Oh my God. Ugh, stunning. I'm so excited for that one. That's gonna be like a perfect neutral mermaid nail. And then I've gone a bit wild with this one. I've gone a bit rogue. This, but just like a one coat so that it's almost like a glass transparent glossy nail would be so cool i'm obsessed i'm obsessed um and i also am buzzing because yesterday uh my nail swatches arrived i've got one of those rings that can have all of the uh nail swatches on and I cannot tell you, I am so excited to just swatch everything. I'm gonna start off with my gel polishes. Um, and then I'm actually, I've decided I'm gonna order a separate ring for my biabs. And then maybe also a separate ring for combos. Um, just so when I say to people, oh, these work really nicely together, I can give them a visual representation if I don't have like an Instagram image or anything like that. And also depending on the light, Instagram isn't always like the most clear. So I just think it's like the most helpful way to help people decide, especially um, if you only have a limited amount of time, it's just such a great way to help with the decision making process. I cannot tell you how, I've already done three. I did three yesterday um, just out of sheer impatience and I cannot tell you how satisfying it is. Other than swatching my nail polishes, uh, today's agenda involves a lot of editing, um, a meeting with building control. And I also woke up with like an insane need not a want so this is not a want it is a need to make a lasagna i can't tell you why i just have this insatiable need to have lasagna hopefully we are going to source that in some way today i don't know how to do like ryan is like lasagna king in this household i don't know how to make the vegan white sauce so this is going to be interesting but that is what we are going to do together today let's take my new babies into their new home so this is what i was talking about this is what i was trying to explain um and here's some that i prepared earlier the first one i swatched was this because this is such a cool polish it's like a bright pink but it's also like transparent i just absolutely love it i think it's stunning it's such a fun summer color if you don't mind like the white showing through on your nails it's, it's going to be such a fun one. But also if you don't have any white showing on your nails, you just have like short nails. I think it's also just so fun. It will look very lip glossy. This one is gloss. This is one of my absolute favourites. It's actually a lot more transparent than it's coming off. I need to write what all the shade names are before I do any more. Oh my god, this one is so cute. This is Torty. I did this on Kate Spears and it just is the cutest polish. If you want a colour but you are more of a neutral girl, this, this is it. It's like a neutral green. Stunning. Okay, I've got a Sharpie. Let's see. Does this work? Please work. I mean, I don't really need to label this one because I know it so well, but it was a good test. I need to make my writing neater, but... That's good enough for me. I did consider getting a label maker, but in terms of time, that's that's not efficient. So if anyone needs me, this is where you can find me until further notice. Honestly, it's actually been so nice just having, oh, so satisfying. Um, it's been so nice just having a break off of vlogging. I've basically just rotated between doing nails, working on other projects. There's always stuff that's like non youtube -y that's going on in the background and gardening. And it's just been such a nice break. And I've actually never had a break from YouTube for as long as I have now had, um, especially in terms of like, actual upload the actual upload gap i've never had this long a break but it's been quite nice to just perfect doing the nails uh in a very peaceful way where i don't feel very anxious to share like i've been really i got really anxious at the prospect of bringing you along to all of my uh very early on appointments and um someone potentially just making me feel like I wasn't very good. And I was really beating myself like the first two weeks of doing like nails away from the training rooms. I hated everything I was doing. I, I hated myself. I was really ripping myself apart. 
and then there became a point where things switched and I started to look at my work and be like actually that's not bad and even like the appointment I had on when was it Wednesday they leave I'm like oh did such a bad job at that and then I see the photo like the people that send me photos after I'm like I love you thank you and I see a photo after I'm like no that looks really good like what was I beating myself up for but I really in the first uh few weeks was horrendously hard on myself um and I just I'm glad that it was only me available to be hard on myself like I'm mean enough I it's hard when you then have strangers on the internet then being mean on top of that it makes you spiral and that's just like some people can deal with it some people have much thicker skin or it bounces off them for me like it almost just reaffirms everything that my brain is already telling me um so it's just unfortunately not uh something i just can't i can't go at the rate that some other youtubers can um, and things really like hit me quite hard so it's been really nice to just like take a step back and yeah it's just it's been a hard like time this year on youtube i felt like i've just really felt the negativity a lot more than maybe i ever have before i think maybe it just used to bounce off of me much better um it doesn't anymore and yeah i, th I think it was just really important for me to like have a step back i've been thinking about like different types of content that i want to do and just like revisiting some pieces that i used to upload and that you guys i feel like used to really love um, but i haven't uploaded in maybe a little while and it's also been great just in terms of uh reigniting my love of posting on instagram i just post so much more now doing nails has actually really helped me love instagram again just having like a smaller account that i just post to about something that i'm really excited to post about like i think just doing nails in general has just changed my life and my attitude to life it's almost like there's a different focus but it's then helping everything else in my life like it's positively affecting every other aspect of my life and um, whether it's like personally like people see me and they're like you are just so much happier than i've seen you in a really long time um i just feel more comfortable posting on instagram i don't i don't know why maybe it's because i'm excited to share something that isn't just like clothes and i don't i don't know but it's been nice having a different focus work wise that is uh, there's just a lot of conversations that are going on around it that are like really exciting and even with youtube i'm just so excited to share this and it's nice to be sharing something that isn't necessarily uh style or makeup but still like linkedin i just feel very content and like i don't just work from home now and like when i get dressed in the morning like i just feel like i have a purpose <laughs> which is something that I've not really felt like I have had for a little while. I think lockdown just really ruined a lot of things for me. Just being at home all the time. I was just like, what am I what am I doing? Oh, I think my my building control man is here. We will revisit. I'll be back. Okay. Hello. I am back. Uh I feel like I'd kind of gotten to the end of what i was saying hopefully before building control showed up but to summarize i'm excited to be back but hopefully uh you will all be very understanding of why i did take a little step back i love sharing on my channel so much um but yeah just in the early stages of doing this i was like i'm hard enough on myself i need to just take care of myself a little bit and um shield myself just whilst i'm in this first kind of like couple of weeks of like I, I'm just figuring out what I'm doing. I don't feel like I'm good enough yet to be sharing things. And I'm at this point now where I'm just really excited and feeling really good. And I, I even have a little card machine. How cute is this? I love it. Also, just I've talked about this on my stories uh, quite a few times over the last couple of weeks, but I know some of you don't follow me on Instagram. I'm not uh, publicly just gonna be like everyone come to my house uh so when i do open my books up which i think i i said the first of june we'll we'll see we will see i'm getting increasingly nervous about it um but i think i'll open them up for the first on the first of june but maybe not t start taking appointments like immediately so you can like pre-book if that makes sense um but i won't be doing 
those appointments that you can book in for in my home. It will literally just be people that I personally know that they come to my house. Basically, once I know someone's not gonna like murder me, I'll do, I'll, yeah. But for the bookings that I open up, no one is coming into my house because I know some of you were quite concerned about that. I would, that is an absolute no because I genuinely will have people turning up at like 10 p.m. at night asking for an infill. That sounds like I'm being over dramatic, but some YouTubers, when people know where they live, yeah. I um, will say no more. But I hope you didn't mind me taking a little step back very briefly. I also just didn't want to put out content that just felt like forced and for the sake of it. Like I could just have done some hauls but I don't, I don't want to buy anything right now. Like I've bought a few bits uh, which I actually can't remember which vlog I'm going to show you in. Like but literally just here and there like bits of jewellery stuff like that. But I don't I don't want to do a big haul just for the sake of it just to put out a video I'd actually just rather take a break and just not I just don't know I don't know I feel like consumerism sometimes has us in a chokehold on YouTube and I just want to do things because I am genuinely like passionate about them or if I do a haul it's because I'm genuinely excited about that shop that I've done not like just for the sake of it I don't know if this is making sense so I'm gonna stop now but yeah I hope you all didn't mind me taking a little step back a little break a little moment to just revisit like what I want to do on my channel how I want to do it and yeah I'm excited to just get like I've got, I've got a few videos that I have got penciled in to film and I'm really looking forward to filming them she's in a new era guys She's got her nail swatches. I need to pop out. I've got a few errands to run. I need to figure out how to make lasagna. Acquire garlic bread, you know, all the vibes. Oh my God, I am so hungry. Maybe I should just eat lunch because I feel like that would probably help this situation so much right now. <laughs> Maybe that would stop me craving the lasagna. I don't know. And then once I've done that and some work, we are gonna do some swatching. I'm gonna get into my comfy clothes, do some swatching. Mm, this is just my dream day. So fun fact about me, aside from my morning coffee, of which I would prefer iced uh, if I lived in a country where you could have iced coffees most of the time, apart from my morning coffee, when it has to be hot, I'm not really a hot drinks girl. Not one of those people that would ever be like, oh, 10 a.m., which by the way, if you're not from the UK, is the, the time for a cup of tea. It doesn't matter what you're doing in the world. If you are near a kettle, it's quite normal to be like, oh, it's time for a brew. I have never been that type of person, just not for me. Even when I worked in an office, I would only really drink them because I was cold, but I didn't really love, love a cup of tea. In my time off, I have come to love a cup of tea. I don't know what it is. I don't know why, I don't know how this has happened. 10 a.m., I'm like, hmm, could do a cuppa. 4 p.m., 4 p.m. is my sweet, mm, 4 p.m could do a cuppa. Like I would have tea sometimes, but it's not normally an everyday thing. It's normally like a random, I want a tea at 10 p.m. kind of thing. Not an everyday, it's 4 p.m., it's time for a brew kind of thing. Why do I look so bright? But my point being, I feel like a changed woman. Something has happened to me. I'm chill, I'm very happy, I drink cups of tea. I wake up craving lasagna, which is also not normal, but I am loving life, so yeah. I'm gonna have my tea. I am in my comfy clothes, as you can probably tell. And we are gonna go paint some swatches. I think this might be the most satisfying thing I've ever done in my whole entire life. Jeez. 
Jesus Christ. Wow, that's insane. rebounding off of the wall opposite i am blind so last night's lasagna 10 out of 10 uh i will link the recipe for the vegan white sauce below if any of you are like how on earth are you doing that it's really really simple um i say that i think i did mess it up a little bit but i managed to pull it back in i accidentally poured too much flour in but as long as you follow the recipe it's great. So today is Saturday. It is a gorgeous day today. So I'm super excited to just get a lot of like home bits done, get out in the garden. We want to go to the garden center. So this is just like my perfect day. We might even have a barbecue later potentially, but I'll show you some little garden updates in a bit because it's all very exciting. But I've just started getting ready for the day. I've done my skincare. I used the Beauty Pie Plantastic Cleanser, which I am really enjoying at the moment. I really like the Beauty Pie cleansers. They're so nice. This one smells incredible. And then for moisturizer, I've just gone in with the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast uh, B5 Plus. Just because my skin's a little bit annoyed at me today because I forgot to put on my serum after my skin and me last night. And um, my skin is quite sensitive, so it has to have like moisturizer, skin and me, moisturizer. And I forgot to do the last step of moisturizer, so it's slightly angry at me. And before I go into the bedroom and do my SPF and makeup, I brush my teeth. I've been using the Spotlight Oral Care toothbrush lately. Some of you may know, if you've watched the vlogs for a while, if you're new, you might not know, or if you're an infrequent watcher i am such a dental nerd if you watch the whole getting my braces saga from last year you will know nothing excites me more than going to the dentist which is probably really strange and also new toothbrushes so this section of the video is a paid for integrated partnership with spotlight oral care thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video because as the dental nerd that i am this pleases me greatly. So this is the Spotlight Oral Care Sonic Toothbrush. I have to say, this comes in so many different colors to the point where I want to collect them all, but I've just gone for the white one because it just is the most neutral. It comes in at this little travel case, which is super handy. I really detest just having to throw a toothbrush in a suitcase when I travel. It makes me very sad. Um, does that make me sad? I don't know. But I find a travel case super handy, so I love it for that. And when you get this toothbrush, you also get nine months of extra heads as well, which is so good. So this has three different modes or speeds, depending on your preferences. So we've got clean, white, and sensitive, which I don't have sensitive teeth, but lots of people in my family do. And when you have this mode on a toothbrush, it is an absolute game changer. It also has the two minute self timer, but it also tells you when uh, it kind of like does a little jolt. And that's basically telling you when to switch the area of your mouth. Like there, it's kind of split into four sections. It tells you when to move on to the next one, which I love. I basically go into autopilot when I brush my teeth. So just that little nudge is so useful for me. You also get a charger with this and it will hold up to 70 days battery life, which is such a long time. I actually haven't had to charge this yet since I got it. It's so good. And I've actually been using this in conjunction with the Spotlight Oral Care Whitening Toothpaste. Lots of you may remember me getting my hands on this because I bought the whitening strips. I'm in the very early stages of the 14 day uh, kind of stretch where you use it every day and it very gradually and gently whitens your teeth. I've taken my before photo and I'm going to keep a log so I will report back but these are vegan and pita friendly and they're also just really good for if you have sensitive teeth because they do whiten your teeth so gradually and gently that it leaves you with minimal sensitivity. So I think these are fab. Um, I love them for how gentle they are. I haven't had like a sensitive 
spot yet which i always used to get but anyway back to the spotlight oral care whitening toothpaste this the packaging is made out of cane sugar and it's 100 percent recyclable which i just think is incredible this will make ryan very happy because he gets really really sad when things can't be recycled it's also 100 percent cruelty free vegan friendly all of that good stuff and this just gradually whitens and strengthens your teeth and it leaves my mouth feeling just so nice and clean but without being like so, like some toothpastes are just so strong that they make my eyes water this is just such a lovely toothpaste to use and the combination is just fab it leaves my teeth feeling super clean also the head on this it's so lovely and small and i actually have like a lot of uh my my teeth and my mouth is actually uh, you wouldn't believe it but it's quite small and there are a lot of little kind of like crevices that I find really hard to get to but because the head on this is very small and intricate I find that I can reach places that I've never been able to reach before with a toothbrush so I use this twice a day and I'm very very happy with my new little dental routine I will keep you posted on how the whitening strips go for me but thank you so much to Spotlight for sponsoring this segment of the video I'm actually like so warm today I am sweating so I need to get out of this dressing <laughs> immediately i have a t-shirt on underneath i don't know why i felt like i needed to put a dressing gown on this morning i'm sweating i am gonna go we're gonna get ready and we're gonna go to the garden center we've so just arrived at uh Squire's garden center <laughs> there's a poodle behind you oh there's another dog as well Aww. oh i'm a shrimpy i've only been apart for like an hour all the world we're coming home I'll show you what we got Yes Got some tomatoes Can you see? Oh uh, yeah Tomatoes and some, and some strawberries And then How do I do this without dropping everything? And not getting run over More tomatoes Ryan is chefing up in the kitchen I thought I'd give you a garden centre haul we've got these gorgeous hydrangeas I'm so excited to get these planted I also got some more of these these are a real favourite in the garden there's quite a few of them um, I wanted to fill a little gap that I had and then oh this is how the veg patch is looking I don't think I showed it to you so the kale is growing the lettuces look like they're thriving we've got a little climbing bean um, which will hopefully be joined by a few more little friends soon. My friend gave me some uh, little veggies. So I've got some little pole things which I set up the other day and hopefully things will be climbing very soon. Um, the chard is coming along, some of it better than others. Carrots are doing well. The shallots, I think this one, this one might be ready. So I might pull that up in a minute and have a little look. Then I also picked up some more tomatoes when I was at the garden centre because this one is doing okay, but I just would quite like to have like a couple of different varieties and like different things, flower like fruiting and flowering at different times. So I picked up another couple. So we've got a big like beef eater tomato and then we've got some of the little orange tomatoes as well because they're some of my absolute favorites i need to trim this dill back we're gonna make like a dill mayo this eve because it is thriving it smells amazing just gonna spend a little bit of time digging some bits up out here and moving things around because there's just a few patches where things haven't really worked out as i'd hoped this is a long process of like fine tuning so that things like spring things grow and the summer things come out and everything's positioned right so that the summer things like cover up the dead spring things like we're not getting a lot of that 
here which is not ideal I'm gonna move some bits about i also have a hydrangea up the back that's like being fully blocked and i would love for it to thrive so i'm gonna move that this afternoon but also please excuse the random crap that ends up getting blown about like this is what living by the sea is like i've got random stuff all over my garden that needs cleaning up but yeah look at this little set up this is the little section of the garden that i'm the most happy with um i did have more alliums but the wind like fully annihilated them but these two were a little bit smaller and more shielded so they survived and it's just made for the cutest little moment also look at this i planted this two years ago and then we had a frost in may and it died and it didn't come back last year and i was really sad but this year we have one one peony one single peony and i literally can't wait to meet you i'm so happy i'm also ecstatic because the cat mint is coming out and it is just a big favorite of mine also these blue poppies they're everything they're so beautiful like i kind of wish i put them closer to the front so that i could see them a bit more do we reckon this allium's going to come out because i just have no no faith that that allium is going to do anything Shrimparella and I are in the garden. We've got a little Aperol. We've been having a little sunbathe and now she's moved to the shade. And I have just moved this hydrangea. I'm hoping it's gonna do a little bit better here than it did up the back. There was a bit too much shade for it because it's one that is a pinky bluey color. It's gonna thrive here because they are a little bit more hardy and they like sunlight so we'll see won't we oh i love you so much good evening the garden is done i have had my dinner i did an emergency run to sainsbury's with some ice cream and now i'm getting ready for bed i am just so tired and i have to do more gardening again tomorrow because it is just never done so i'm going to go and drink a cup of tea go to bed and i will see you guys in my next video hopefully we'll be back to two a week now fingers crossed that is what i am aiming for so yeah send me all the fast editing vibes i think it'll be wednesdays Wednesdays and Sundays I want to say. I'm excited to see you back here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video wasn't too long. I have a feeling my first one back may have been a very long one, but I hope you all enjoyed it nonetheless, and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.